I think there's something unique about the human psyche. We love to create hierarchies and divisions no matter the circumstance. This is particularly prominent in class structures where we separate human beings based on their ownership of wealth in the form of land, money, or power. For quite some time, the separation of class has been restricted to only two distinctions, the upper and the lower, or as famous economist Karl Marx puts it, the bourgeoisie and the proletariat. Marx argues with the starting of the industrial revolution and onward, society will begin to shift its class structures and a dissolution of private property will occur, aka communism. In other words, Marx predicted that we will all become communist, but not in the sense of Cuba or Vietnam. Let me explain. You see, getting rid of this private property was, in Marx's eyes, the surefire way of getting rid of class structures and placing everyone on an equal playing field. For this to happen, the proletariat will have to own the means and modes of production previously controlled by the bourgeoisie. So for example, if you're a farmer working under another head farmer that owns the trucks and the farming equipment, you are essentially tied down by this hierarchy because the head farmer owns the means and modes of production, aka the truck and farming equipment. However, for the farmer to get out of this bondage, he would have to own the truck and farming equipment, able to generate his own revenue and keep all profits. And this is what I see happening in our world today. Believe it or not, the proletariat currently own the means and mode of production thanks to the advent of the internet. Let's say you wanted to start a career in filmmaking. For the internet, you would need very expensive camera gear, an expensive computer with editing software and so much more. Now you can start a filmmaking career literally using the camera in your pocket, your phone. Couple that with free editing software like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, along with a distribution network of millions of people, and you have essentially reduced the cost of becoming a filmmaker to zero. This concept is seen in a number of areas such as programming, photography, art, music, entrepreneurship, with opportunity bleeding from every domain. This reduction of cost for getting into these different industries, known to be dominated solely by individuals of upper class, can be attributed to the internet and its meritocracy. Now, like never before, the proletariat are able to maneuver the class structure and really impact society in unprecedented ways. And I think it's something we can all come to appreciate. The abundance and opportunity currently present in our world is unfathomable, which is why I encourage each and every one of you guys to take advantage of it. In fact, I think Marx would be uh, pretty proud.